Microsoft Word is a powerful word processor that enables you to create, edit, save and print your documents. Editing Editing means to making changes in the documents. To perform any action like copying, moving, deleting or formatting the text, we need to select the text. Selecting text In Microsoft Office Word 2010, you can select text by moving the mouse or the keyboard. To select method, a word, double click anywhere on the word, a line of text, move the pointer to the left of the line until it changes to a right pointing arrow and then click. A sentence, hold down control and then click anywhere in the sentence. A paragraph, triple click anywhere in the paragraph. A block of text. Click at the start of the selection, scroll to the end of the selection and then hold down shift while you click where you want the selection to end. Or click where you want to begin the selection, hold down the left mouse button and then drag the pointer over the text that you want to select. An entire document. Move the pointer to the left of any text until it changes to a right pointing arrow and then triple click. Or press Ctrl plus A. Press the keys on the keyboard gently. Heart strokes can make the keyboard disorder. Move or copy text. Select the text you want to move or copy. Do one of the following. Right click on the selected text and choose Cut option. Or, click on Cut option on the clipboard tab and press Ctrl plus X keys. Right click on the selected text and choose Copy option. Or, click on Copy option on the clipboard tab or press Ctrl plus C keys. Click where you want the item to appear. Right click and choose Paste option Keep text only. Or, press Ctrl plus V or click on Paste option on the Clipboard tab. Undo Mistakes Undo means to cancel the last actions performed in MS Word 2010. On the Quick Access Toolbar, point to Undo. Word displays the most recent action that you can undo. Click Undo. If you want to undo a different action, click the arrow next to Undo and then click the action in the list of most recent actions. The shortcut keys for undo are Ctrl plus Z. When you want to undo an action, you also undo all actions above it in the list. Formatting text In Microsoft Office Word 2010, you can apply different format to the selected text. Whatever formatting we want to apply first, we have to select the text on which the formatting change is to be applied. Font group in the Home tab allows you to change the font, the text style, size, bold, italic, underline, etc., the color of text, highlight the text and much more. We can use keyboard shortcuts also. Font group in Home tab. Simply select Text and make any changes you want on the text in the font group in the Home tab. Changing to bold face. Select the matter or line to be changed in bold face. Click on Bold B button on the font group and the selected matter becomes bold. Changing to italic. Select the matter or a line or a phrase or a word to be made italic. Click on Italic button I on the font group and the selected text matter becomes italic. Changing to underline. Select the matter or a line or a phrase or a word to be underlined. Click on underline U button on the font group and the selected matter gets underlined. Mini toolbar. In Microsoft Word 2010, you can use the formatting option Mini toolbar to quickly format text. The mini toolbar appears automatically when you select text. It also appears with the menu when you select text and then right click. Using keyboard shortcuts.
keyboard shortcuts for changing text appearance. To make the text larger, press Ctrl plus Shift plus greater than or Ctrl plus bracket. To make the text smaller, press Ctrl plus Shift plus less than or Ctrl plus curly bracket. To make the text bold, press Ctrl plus B. To make the text italic, press Ctrl plus I. To underline text, press Ctrl plus U. Changing page layout. In page setup, you can change the size of document and also various other things. To change the page setup of the document, follow these steps. Click on Page Layout tab. As a result, the ribbon appears on the screen. Various options like margins, page size, orientation and many more appear on the screen. Any one can be selected through mouse or tab key. Suppose you have to select page size option. Then choose the page size with the help of mouse. Now, the given dialog box of page size appears on the screen. Saving document. A document which you have created exists in the temporary memory RAM of a computer. If you switch off the computer, the document created currently will be destroyed. Therefore, it is to be stored in hard disk as per the following procedure. Click on Save icon available in the Quick Access toolbar or select Save option from File menu. The given dialog box appears on the screen. Select the drive and directory to save document in it. Now type any file name and click Save button. Closing document Having finished working on a document, follow these steps in order to close it. Click on File menu. Click on Close button. Thus, the document closed. Opening document you can open the document by following any of these two methods mentioned below. First method. In File menu, click on Open option. Now, type the name of the file to be opened. As a result, the selected file gets opened. Second method. Click on File and then Open. From the Open dialog box, find the file to be opened and click Open button. Printing document. For printing the document, follow these steps. First of all, select Print option from File menu or click on Print icon in the Quick Access bar or press Ctrl plus P. As a result, the given dialog box appears on the screen. Go to Copies option and type the number of copies needed. For example, if you want to print one copy of the document, Type 1 in the Copies box. Choose the printer and click on Print button. You must have noticed fact that there is no major difference in Word 2007 and 2010. They are almost same. Now you can work with other packages like PowerPoint and Excel easily whether they are 2007 or 2010. How to exit Word? To exit Word, Click on Exit option available in File menu. Even by clicking on Close button of Window with the help of the mouse, you can exit Word.